Hey everyone, quick little vlog update. So I have a lot of cards to sleeve here. I recently did a Baiyi haul from Mercari Japan. So yeah, I have a lot of cards that need sleeving, but I'm also kind of debating maybe switching out the sleeves that I've been using for my Joshua collection. As of the moment, I have him all in white sleeves and I actually have it organized where um, the cards are back to back like so. So I'm, what I'm thinking though is I might change them to clear sleeves just to see how I feel about it. And because I'm changing them to clear sleeves, I might just put the cards on one side so it'll just be the front and then you can see the backs and then the front and then the backs. So. That is what I'm going to do. I've got some YouTube videos playing over here. I'm actually watching a video from my friend Maylis right now. She's organizing her Namjoon collection. Hopefully this won't be too boring, but I'm gonna speed through the whole process.
Hey guys, it's me again. It is a very dark and rainy day, so I thought it'd be nice to just sit down and just do something creative, I guess. But I have my iPad and I'm probably just going to speed through this part, but I just wanted to explain what I was doing. As you can see, I'm trying to make my own little Polaroids. I haven't done this before, so we're going to see how it turns out, but I know that this was quite a trend like about a year ago, so there are quite a lot of tutorials on YouTube, so this isn't exactly going to be a tutorial, but I mean if you have any questions just feel free to leave a comment below. But I will also link to a video that's really helpful and has a template for this as well. Uh, full disclosure, this is not that person's template. Um, I made this myself, but I will link to the video that has this template. I think it takes you to a Google Drive where you can download this. So it'll look really similar, but the measurements just might not be quite the same. All I really did was I just Googled what is the dimension for a mini like Instax Polaroid and I just sort of built it off of that. So anyways, I wanted to make some little like freebies that I could put, you know, in my packages when I'm doing trades or sales or whatever. I don't know, we'll see how they actually turn out, but that is sort of the idea is to make just cute little freebies. Maybe I could just send them to my friends. And this is just going to be all 17. So I just tested this one out and I think it looks cute. So yeah, I'm just gonna keep going.
Okay, so here we are. I don't think these are too bad considering it's my first time uh, making these. I think in the future I would try to maybe make them just slightly bigger. I ended up doing quite a few like test pieces before I did these and basically if you saw in the last clip I transferred the file from my iPad to my computer and I imported it into Photoshop because I wanted to print it from Photoshop. Um, I didn't really adjust any settings in Photoshop or anything. I just really wasn't quite sure the best way to print these out so I just put it into my Photoshop. But um, I just chose to have the printer print the colors by default. I didn't adjust any of the color settings and it actually turned out fine in comparison to when I was adjusting the color settings. So yeah, you know what? I think they're fine. I think in the future I would also really like to put them maybe on glossy paper because they'd have a heavier weight to them. At the moment, this is just plain old cardstock. It's not even a very heavy weight or anything. I cannot get this thing to focus. But yeah, it's just, you know, it's not just regular printer paper. It is a cardstock, but it is still quite light as you can see. But overall, I think that this was just a really fun, like rainy day project. And you can just get way more creative with these. You can get more creative with like the brush settings. Like right here, I don't know if you can tell, but I used a brush that was a grid and I just painted over that into a separate layer. Obviously you can also use stickers. I actually designed some of my own a little while back. They're nothing um, too perfect, but I have some that are like this, that are hollow, although it's really hard to see. And this is actually one that I messed up. There's a crease when I was putting the laminate on top. Maybe I can find a better one. This one looks okay. Yeah, I have something like this, or I even have um, one that's just plain glossy. So yeah, I'm probably not gonna be decorating these on camera. I just felt like showing it. But yes, this was a fun little project and I hope that you enjoyed watching it. Thank you.